sometimes my career, the car gods, as well as the universe will come around and send me a car that will give me a thrilling experience. And today they've sent me the BMW X6M competition. Now this is the pinnacle of BMW performance SUVs. The X6M receives a lifetime refresh and I must say it really does look good up front. A few changes are noticeable such as these LED daytime running lights. They also do get a double chevron design pattern inside. They are sleeker so I really do like this look. The revised grille with the air intakes now gets these angular shapes on the sides and I do kind of feel this whole grille is made to look like a whole big X. Do you see it? I think that's quite clever. Of course, this is a fairly big car, so it's going to get fairly large tires. These are Michelin 21s up front and it receives a Michelin 22s in the back. Now, I think these tires are really going to do well on the road in terms of just gripping and holding on to those corners. You do also have those red brake calipers as well. The side mirrors receive carbon fiber detailing and you'll be seeing a whole lot of that I play inside the cabin as well. What is cool however is that the BMW X6M has this tow bar that it rigs from just a button in the rear and of course you can pull all your caravans or trailers along on those long trips. I think the big standout when you look inside this cabin has to be this deep red color on the leather and I do feel like I quite enjoy it. I don't think I would ever get tired of it but you know I'd have to live with this car to actually know. Another thing I do like are these standard sports seats. They are so comfortable and they do get these sport wingless. Of course, when you're cornering, they do give some support. A lot of carbon fiber at play inside this cabin, of course, on the dash area, the center console, as well as the side panels. Now you will see that the side panels get this diamond stitching design up here, which I quite like because you also find it in the center of the seats. Now what I also quite like and is actually a favorite of mine has to be the sound system is Bowers and Wilkins which means it really is the premium range. As a focal point for the driver you have this beautiful leather steering wheel of course with the M stitching all around it which you will also find in the gear lever as well as the seat belt. This curved display is made up of a 14.9 infotainment screen as well as a 12.3 infotainment cluster. The system itself works quite well, it's intuitive, it's got the new BMW ID system, graphics are great and of course if you don't want to leave your fingerprints all over the screen, you can use this rotary dial over here and select whatever menu you'd like. The roof gets this nice Alcantara material which is nice to look at and touch and looking at the top you also get a panoramic sunroof with little LED lights that light up in the night time which I think gives you a spectacular show. But I'm actually curious to see how the space is like in the bag. Getting into this car of course, you have to duck down because of the sloping roof line whether you're in the front or the rear of the car. And talk about the rear, it's actually adequate space for me. Headroom is not that ample. For a taller person, it's definitely going to be a problem. But leg room is actually quite fine. Thigh support, I can live with it. It's really not that bad. Um, but it actually is quite a cool space to be in. Four-way ventilated climax zone over there. And you also have your USB connectivity on those front seats. Of course, on the side, you still get that nice diamond stitching that we found up front, the carbon fiber, as well as a Bose and Wilkins. Wilkins, my tongue will get used to it. It might be a bit of a snob after I get out of this car. Let's drive. Now, one of the things I'm definitely going to miss in the purely electrification era that we are obviously finding ourselves in and going into is the sound of a V8 engine. Upon startup, that sound was incredible. I mean, that noise, thunderous, glorious. And that's what cars are about, just making you feel that emotion, bringing a grin upon your face, and just making you smile. Now under the hood is a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 
V8 engine producing 480 kilowatts and 750 Newton meters of torque. Now, why would you need that amount of torque? That's completely bonkers. Now, talking about seconds, this will take you from zero to 104.8 seconds. Now that is pretty quick. Those large profile tires on this, grabbing on those corners at higher speeds. <laughs> it does feel a bit jittery, however, almost like it is a bit unruly and you need to kind of keep it on your toes. You might, you know, as much as it hugs the roads, there's a lot of excitement coming from the engine and as well, the suspension is holding on very nicely. Steering wheel response is very good. It's actually quite precise and immediate, sending direction to those tires quite immediately. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> more anyone could want because I don't think I've had this much of a smile on my face since uh, since I probably drove the M2 funny enough I think it being a little bit skittish at points does make me a little bit nervous but it also just adds to the thrill of driving such a fast car um, it's, it's like living on the edge of the world Now let's talk about pricing. This is priced at 3.28 million Rand, which is quite hefty if you think about it. And let's talk about that pricing a little bit because if you go into the BMW stable, you are able to get a BMW M2 that will give you just as much thrill and speed driving as well as the regular X6 that gives you more practicality and space for the price of one X6M competition. And it makes me think then that perhaps BMW wanted to create a car that is the pinnacle of sports SUV that will take on the GLE as well as the Cayenne S.